I have tested all these filaments to find out which ones are the toughest and best suited for high impact hits. In this video, I will reveal the strengths of each filament, where you should use them, and some essential 3D printing tips so that when you actually print your part, it will not look like this. Yeah. Stay tuned so you don't make these mistakes like I did. You are here in this video probably because you would like to use 3D printing for something actually functional. Me, for example, I build combat robots where a lot of impacts are delivered, so I automatically had to experiment with filaments that had high impact strength. But what are those filaments? In the past two years, I have spent hundreds of dollars on a ton of different 3D printing materials, and some performed better than others. These are the four that stood out from the rest. First of all, polypropylene. I'm really surprised how much people are talking about this filament. It's very impact resistant and feels like TPU, although it is a bit different. Here I have two of the same parts, but one of them is TPU, and this one is printed from polypropylene. When we weight them, you can see a big difference. Polypropylene's is way lighter. One of the major benefits of PP is that you can use it if you're tight on weight. For example, in ant weights where the limit is 150 grams, PP really helps. You might have heard that it's a pain to get it to stick to the printer's bed, but that's not the case if you use this hack. You don't need any glue, just put some packing tape on your plate and the filament will stick beautifully. I would advise you to reduce the bed temperature to zero or else your printed part will not come off the tape. Yes, it sticks that well. TPU. As I've already mentioned, TPU is extremely impact resistant and unlike other materials in this list, TPU prints and sticks to the bed perfectly. That's why it's widely used in combat robotics. Here's where my problem with this filament comes. It's density. 1.28 grams per cubic centimeter? That is the densest plastic of all of them. Again, here are two identical parts, one from TPU and the second one from PP. This time they weigh the same, but polypropylene was printed with a much higher infill, and knowing that, even though TPU is tougher, but pound for pound, polypropylene is better, as you can just print it with a much higher infill. Nylon. From my personal experience with filaments, nylon performed the best. This is a basic PA 6 to 12, which is way tougher than, for example, carbon fiber nylon. It's not a rubbery plastic and it feels more like ABS. Nylon works in printing frames, top plates, or even weapons. It can absorb a hit and survive. But here's the important part. After you print it, nylon needs to sit for a bit and absorb some moisture as it's very water absorbent. The part that was sitting for a week absorbing all the moisture will handle impacts way better than a freshly printed one. You might think now, yes, nylon is the way to go. It's tough and low density. Not so fast. One bad thing about it is that it's almost impossible to print with it. It warps extremely well, it can permanently bend your bed, and the quality of the parts, at least for me, were not that great. What do I use to print it then? For printing nylon, I use Garolite G10 custom made bed plate from Darkmoon. I have to say, nylon sticks to this bed almost perfectly. Next up, we have carbon fiber nylon. This filament is a bit different than the previous three. When you try to break it, it snaps easily and at first glance you might think, hey man, this material is brittle. Yes and no. Carbon fiber nylon is great for printing frames. It's sturdy, very hard, yet it can still take a hit. While carbon fiber makes the material brittle, the toughness of nylon helps a lot and makes this filament usable. Something like PLACF or ABSCF would be a bad idea as the material alone is already brittle. Because carbon fiber nylon is harder, it doesn't warp as much and you can basically print it on any bed if you apply a bit of glue. Pro tip, dry your filament for at least three days before you get them. My nylons live in the dryer and because they absorb moisture that fast, you cannot leave it printing open like this. No filament is perfect. Each has its strengths and its trade-offs. Some are tougher, some are lighter, and finding the right one for your needs makes a difference. What plastic would you prefer? Maybe there's a better filament that I haven't even mentioned. Write them in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.